of spaghetti. Holy cow. <laughs> and those runners are going to need the carbs because thousands of grandma's runners will take off in just a couple of days. And of course, this week, poor air quality is raising some concerns over their safety. However, some people have spent months training to run this race. Northern News Now's Larissa Millis spoke with one woman running the full marathon who says she's just hoping to make it to the starting line. In 2022, Pauline Wingy, who lives in Bemidji, decided she was going to complete her first ever marathon race in Grandma's Marathon. But just 10 days before last year's event, she was injured and couldn't compete. But I thought, I'm not stopping yet. I'm going to keep training. And so I um, started the process again in January. And um, I've always loved Duluth. And so that's why I wanted to do Grandma's. Now Wingy is excited to race the full marathon Saturday. She says she's been keeping an eye on the weather and was concerned about this week's poor air quality, but is prepared to race in any condition. You know, I'm just going to leave it in, in somebody else's hands. It's not, I'm not going to be able to control it, so I'm just going to do what I can to have a great race. Grandma's leaders, too, are working hard to make sure it's a great and safe race. Right now, we uh, we expect to uh, to be a go, but we have the, the meetings and the protocols in place uh, to react if uh, that forecast changes. PR and marketing director Zach Schneider says Grandma's Marathon has only ever been canceled once in its nearly 50-year history in 2020 due to the COVID-19 pandemic. We have delayed the start uh, before, uh, but that's only happened, I believe, once or twice. And so it's not common. Typically, you know, we've been pretty lucky with the weather. He says the grandma's team, rather than canceling or delaying, is more likely to make changes instead. To help with any heat or air quality concerns, the marathon can have more water available for racers and have additional medical staff on hand. Those preparations making it safer for racers like Pauline Wingy to accomplish such a feat. I know that when I cross that line, I will have put everything I have into finishing this race. What a blessing it is that I can have a body that can do something really hard like that. Crossing the finish line, one step at a time. In Duluth, Larissa Millis, Northern News Now. Yeah, let's hope they all do. Mm -hmm. Schneider says at this point, the race is scheduled to go on as planned. Let's hope so. Yeah. If a delay or cancellation were deemed necessary, it would be called as close to the race's start time as possible to avoid altering the race sooner than necessary.